I stumbled upon this TikTok video that I am so burdened and sorry for this other fellow mom, fellow um, homemaker. Basically her story goes, she married someone at 20, she dropped out of college, she started doing, um, being a homemaker for 24 years. And then the guy got an escort, shut down all of her money, and basically made her homeless with all the kids. And she had no resume, she had no college education, nothing. And I am so burdened for her because as a stay-at-home mom for 13 years, as a homeschool mom, and I have 10 years left until my kids graduate, it will be now, like from then on, when my kids graduate, it will be the same timeline. And so something I just really wanted to talk to the young ladies in the house that are really trying to see like, should I be a trad wife? Should I be, um, should I get my, my career? Should I get my education? Like what is staying at home like? All that stuff. I think you just need to be very honest with your partner and you need to be very, like we're talking about nuts and bolts. Who's gonna own the house? Are you gonna co-own a house? Are you gonna have life insurance? Are you gonna have, what's your home for, the, what's, your, what's your plan for the future? Because if you are a stay-at-home homemaker, you're not making any 401k, 401k. You have no plan for the future. You have no retirement. And so when those kids leave, you have nothing. So this is me, I'm letting you know like what I am doing. Okay, what I am doing is me and my husband took a real estate investment class paid a lot of money for a mentor that owns like 40 properties and he's been here forever so he knows the ins and outs and all that so we bought a third property under his mentorship we are on cue to save up for buying two more properties and so our goal is to own real estate uh, all under both of our names this is like brass tax guys brass tax of like how's it gonna work so that you know we have income for the future we own assets together our names are on all the stuff our names are on all the things i also have my separate business bank account with my side businesses that i have i have a photography business i'm a graphic designer i run people's virtual stuff i'm a social media manager i take video i'm a content creator so i have a lot of skills and all of those things i have you know earned and built from the ground up. Me and my husband also run two businesses married together. And so, God forbid, this is this is like worst case scenario, God forbid, that if my husband is not who he says he is and something ha or something happens to him that he can't work, this is like how practical I'm getting down to, okay? Um, I can go full time in my business. I can have my properties. I can sell equipment, I can rent out my house for Airbnb, I can rent out my backyard for Airbnb, I can, um, I have all these business ideas. We have two or three cabins that we've built in the backyard that maybe we can Airbnb those out. We can make the backyard a wedding venue. Like, I have stuff for, for days, I can think of ideas. If not, worst case, worst case. We sell all the properties and I go back and I live with my parents. Or I go back and live with my brother or uh, we rent all of our properties out that we currently own right now, and that's a passive income stream, and I figure out another living situation, or I do a partnership with another mom or something. Like, that is how real that I am thinking, because I wish, I wish some 40, 50-year-old would have set me aside in college and be like, hey, I know, you know you're meeting somebody, because we met in college, me and my husband, and I just want to let you know the cost of daycare, cost of private school is going to be really expensive. You need to have a plan B. And I had to pivot. I had to learn. I had to get down. I had to really figure out how to educate myself, how to do all this stuff. But it, it's been 13 years of learning and eating ramen and living in people's basements and renting attics and, and co-sharing house, you know, living situations so that we could do this. Um, and it was hard. And it was very taxing and it was a lot of pressure on our marriage um thank god we're, we're still married and we have a great relationship but i'm i'm just letting y'all know as a 40 year old with all the things that i've experienced if you are a young woman wanting to get married have a plan for the future 
have discussions like this. So we're sitting down, we're doing budgets together, we're doing plans together, we're doing co-parenting goals together. You know, he's taking one of my sons right now to the job site so he can help me co-parent. I help him other other ways. So we're in a partnership. This is the kind of language you need to have with your partner. This is the kind of like, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns mentality that you need to have with your partner. If you're not going to have those conversations and your partner's like, mm, red flag, like red flag, just say no. Say no. No means no. Okay. So stand up for yourself. Have a plan. Have a future. You can still be a traditional wife. Because, you know, in debt care is no joke expensive. But you need to have a plan, ladies. I'm letting you know. Have a plan. Have skill sets. Okay, you'll thank me later. Bye.